This is Mag Mag Max Hedrum. And what you're about to witness is one of the most sinister sounding intros to a trailer to one of the greatest epics ever produced in the history of te television. And there's more, because you are going to see it as well. And welcome to Facts or Frauds. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. So your whole name? Beneficiary. Oh, he'd done this before. What's his name? The Beneficiary. Yeah. You have the first name, Mr. Beneficiary? Are you stating that the... Are you stating that the trust that we are administrating is the Kevin Polly Trust? If so, I'm asking. I'm asking what your name is. My name is the beneficiary of the trust. Of whose trust? Are you stating that the trust that we are now administrating is the Kevin Pollard Trust, Your Honor? Okay, if I'm gonna so, recall Kevin, him. Put, bring up somebody else. Put him aside. Thank you, we'll Judge. Thank you, Judge. Sir, is your yes, name the beneficiary, <laughs> Kevin Theron Anthony Pollard? Yes or no? I'm the beneficiary of the trust, Your Honor. Are you stating that the trust that we are now administrating is the Kevin Pollard Trust? Is are that you what Kevin Pollard? I'm asking is you. The, is the is the trust that we are now administering? Sir, I ask the questions here. You give me yes or no I, answers. I'm, I'm at, you're asking for my permission to ask the questions. You give the answers. Is that clear? It's very clear. Okay. Listen. Yes. Are you also Are you, known by the name of Kevin Pollard amongst other names? Yes or no? Are you stating that the trust that we are now administrating is the Kevin Pollard Trust, Your Honor? If so, Kevin Pollard is, in fact, present today. It is you that is Kevin Pollard, Your Honor. It is you. Really? Yes, Your Honor. Really? It is you. That really? is, you that is Kevin Pollard. Yes, Your Honor. You are, you are Kevin Pollard today, Your Honor. I am the beneficiary. And then who are you? I am the beneficiary of the trust. Okay, well, then, Mr. Beneficiary, take you and your trust back to jail. I have some questions for the clerk, Your Honor. No. I, I have, I have, can I speak to the clerk before we go any further? You know what? I'm going to put you in time out. Get your mind right. Mr. Pollard? Yes, sir. Can I have the clerk present? Please, Your Honor. Don't give in. <laughs> Please have the clerk present in a Zoom meeting. <laughs> you know what? If you answer my questions, I'll I'll consider it. Okay. What's the question? What's your name? The beneficiary. All right, Mr. Beneficiary, put you back in timeout. <laughs> All right, beneficiary. I'm going to give you another chance in front of another magistrate. That's no problem. Can I have the clerk present, please? Hey, sir. Sir, I'm magistrate in charge of that. DDC. Yes. I'm, at, I'm talking to the DDC officer. Yes. DDC? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The gentleman that is in front of the screen, in front of camera one, what name do you have him listed as? Kevin Pollard. Do you have a middle name? No, ma'am. Okay, so you have a Kevin Pollard. Okay. And sir, you are identified as Kevin Pollard, but you're uh, considering yourself the uh, beneficiary. Is that correct, sir? Are we on the record? We are. Everything is on the record. Okay. Are you stating that the, um, that the trust that we are now administrating is the Kevin Pollard trust, ma'am? I'm not administrating any trust because there is no trust in front of me. But what I'm asking you is, 
you call yourself the beneficiary. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, no problem. I have case number is 2405538101, uh, People of the State of Michigan versus Kevin Theron, Anthony Pollard. School Your Honor, listed you, by you, you, DBC you, you, as Kevin you're, you're, Pollard. You're, However, the gentleman right. has identified you're himself right. as you the are, beneficiary. You, you representing as Kevin Pollard today, Your Honor. Mr. Pollard, I'm not. Mr. Pollard, now as your counsel, I am going to advise that you stop speaking and allow the judge to speak. Yes, ma'am. Uh, counsel Kirkland. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Shava Kirkland on behalf of Mr. Pollard, who has been advised of his rights, which is to stand mute and waive the formal reading. Thank you. I'm going to enter plea of not guilty. Court dates are uh, February 2nd, 2024. I, 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 it is a probable cause conference. Followed by preliminary examination, February 8th, 1.30 p.m. Uh, both men are in front of Judge King. Probable cause question. conference. It is at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, Mr. Your beneficiary, Your Mr. Your beneficiary, Your you should not come over to the court. I thank you very oath. much. You are under oath and you are on record. Yeah. And I'm asking Mr. you, uh, is, 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 I have not sworn you under oath. I am under oath, so I am doing all this. Under, I'm going to enter plea of not guilty. I already given under, the court dates while this case is pending, sir. You okay, can, there should under, be no contact you are with the to, individual. You are, not allowed, you are not allowed to state what the judgment is. That is my Mr. job. Mr. Collar, Mr. Collar, I do want to let you know this is the judgment. Okay. I have all a right. question for you, sir. Okay. I have a DBC question for the clerk. For moment. I have a question for the clerk. You will give an opportunity, sir. You have. You will give an opportunity. Let me finish. While this case is pending, there's no contact with a Nyla. That means no person, person contact, no contact to third parties, no phone calls, no emails, no text messaging. Uh, the people, go ahead, Esteban. Yeah, the people are asking for $250,000 cash bond, no cash, no surety. If he's able to ever post bond, we'd like GPS tether with home arrest. The defendant, Your Honor, has a, a continuing uh, situation where he uh, entices young girls on the Internet uh, from Arizona in this particular case. And previously on 10-23-2023 in another case where he enticed people. He's been arrested three different times for criminal sexual conduct. The first case, he was found not guilty back on 5-15-2015. The 10-21-2023 case where he was criminal sexual conduct first degree and also contributing uh, alcohol to a minor, two counts of that, was at the exam uh, dismissed without prejudice. And my, my belief in all that is because these defend these victims all live out of state. In our particular case we have here today, Your Honor, the victim is from Arizona. She came here after having a relationship, not the victim, but a, one of the witnesses came here after having a three-year relationship with this defendant on the Internet. When she turned 18, she came to visit. And also, Mr. Pollard introduced her to another girl who is also from um, Arizona. The other girl brought her uh, niece or, or her, I forgot who, the relationship, but her seven-year-old niece with her to visit Mr. Pollard. And what happened then, because the, the uh, person was tired from traveling, she fell asleep in the living room. When she woke up, she went into the bedroom and there was Mr. Pollard with the seven-year-old girl. He then said, what are you doing? And he says, well, we're playing video games. So the woman, the adult in the room, uh, she falls asleep again. And then she is awakened by the seven-year-old girl and asked to leave. The seven-year-old girl then tells her mother that the Mr. Pollard uh, touched her, rubbed her, he says. Okay? He said, you know, accidentally is what he's trying to tell us what happened. Jenner, the situation is she's told the seven-year-old child has told TED Talk that he did this. He's told Protective Services that he did this. And as far as I'm concerned, Judge, he is he fits the category of a predator because he did the same thing in the 1023-2023 case of enticing young people 
from other parts of the country, perhaps, I don't know where exactly, to come and, and see him on the Internet. So we're asking for $250,000 cash bond, no surety, um, and no and GPS tether if he's ever be able to post bond. Drop. Thank you. Okay. Uh, one question, Council Ragnan. Yes. Does he have any pending cases? Uh, not that I know of, Your Honor. The 1023 case, 1021 2023 case, has been dismissed without prejudice at the exam. And I couldn't find out it was because the witness was, if the witness was out of town or what the problem was. But okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Council Kirkland, go ahead, Esteban, please. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd ask this court, understanding the, the seriousness of these charges for um, a 10% bond, if this court is not inclined to do a high personal bond. Um, so, so one, I, I know the bulk of, of Brother Counsel's argument was was this dismissed case from last year. I'd ask that this court sentence him based on these allegations and the, the facts uh, and details surrounding this case. This is a 2020 case. Um, and the woman that he met was 20 years old or that came to see him was a 20 year old woman, was not an underage woman. Um, no. And the allegation is that she brought um, her, her, I believe, goddaughter to the home. Now, there are different variations because a, a couple different stories are told um, as to what occurred there. But Mr. Pollard has maintained that he did not sexually assault um, the little girl. We, I'm not sure why this case was in charge until 2024, but it is a four-year-old case. My understanding is that he... Um, I don't, I don't believe he's had any convictions since then. He is a lifelong resident, has a child, so he has strong ties to the community. He also owns, owns a lawn service here. At this point, there's no amount of bond that he can't afford to pay, so even a 10% bond um, would be unaffordable for him. But given the age of this case um, and, and his lack of, of issues since this, um, I'd ask this court consider a high personal bond, if not that, a 10% bond. Thank you. I've heard the representations from both sides in this particular matter in reference to the beneficiary who is listed by the court or by DDC as Kevin Pollard is that in this particular matter, even though this is from 2020, okay, there was a forensic interview, Kids Talk, uh, with the victim, and she disclosed that she was touched by the defendant and that he rubbed her with his hand. This court is not considering the other cases that were dismissed, that were dismissed without prejudice, okay? This court is only going with this matter. In reference to this gentleman, the defendant, bond is gonna be $250,000 cash. There's gonna be a GPS tether, home arrest, further, okay? It's gonna be unaffordable. So today uh, is Friday. He's gonna get another court date. Uh, today's the 26th. Uh, January 29th, 2024, nine o'clock in front of Judge McConnell, who's going to be looking at the bond amount and bond conditions. Also, there is one other thing. This court uh, looks at clear and convincing evidence uh, standard, okay, based on the representation, based on the reading. This court is convinced that Mr. Pollard, okay, I'm sorry, the beneficiary, okay, that he is a predator in this particular matter. That's why we're putting at $250,000 cash, GPS tether, house arrest. He does have the, again, the unaffordable bond redetermination for this Monday, January 29, 2024, nine o'clock in front of Judge McConnell. Also, there is another bond condition. He's not to be around any minor children. That concludes the arraignment of the beneficiary, also known as Kevin Pollard. Madam Clerk. Pre trial. Your Honor. You no, I was talking to, to the, the gentleman Judge that's in front of the screen. Judge. Okay. Uh, just now, for the record, is that the clerk has declined to talk to the gentleman in front of the screen. Well, that, that is not fair. Thank you. That is not fair. You cannot do this. <laughs> Under oath and on record, you cannot do this. I have rights, and you violated them, and you was not my judge. Okay, you go. Go ahead and do whatever. You cannot do that. Okay. As the beneficiary, as the beneficiary, I asked the clerk. I asked the I'm sorry. Can we have those dates again? We couldn't hear them. What were the dates? February 2nd, February 8th. February 2nd, February 8th. Is the clerk administrator of this SUV QV trust account that she are... Huh? 
What you say? Get out. Get out of this house. And thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. You're subscribed. And ring that bell for notifications. So the next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else. And leave a comment in the comment section. Tell them what you think. And a huge thank you to our channel members, Robert Morley, Chris Kelling, and Deep, Goddess of Truth, CW1960, Mike, Pat's Cats, Existential Angst, West Side Girl Reacts, Butcher Bird, Jason Heaton, Buddy Parker, and Colt Stonewolf. If you'd like to become a member, just click on the link in the description or click on join right next to subscribe. And if you're still hanging out, thank you. I appreciate you all. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and leave a comment in the comment section telling me what you think. Until next time, I'll see you soon.